here we go, here we go, kick it. Once upon a while, a long time ago, out by the sea where the cold winds blow, a fisherman lived with his wife in a shack. They ate fish every day and gave the bones to the cat. The fisherman's wife wasn't happy at all. See, for her cooking fish was never a ball. They had fish for breakfast, fish for lunch, with the cat in the corner going crunch, crunch, crunch. They had fish for dinner, fish for dessert. They had fish until their nostrils hurt. They drank fish shakes and ate fish pie. They ate fish so much they wanted to die. One day the funky fisherman went to the shore to see if he could catch some more. He strung up his pole, put a worm on the line, and sat on the rock for a long, long time. He sat on the rock, then he got a strong bite. It's gotta be big, cause it's putting up a fight. His arm started aching, the pole almost broke, and he pulled so hard that he started to choke. Then all of a sudden the fish was in his lap. The tail hit his head and went flap, flap, flap. He was almost crushed, cause the fish was so big, it was twice the size of an ordinary pig was a big old flounder bug-eyed and fat it looked like a blanket and was just as flat the fisherman looked it right in the eye and this big flat fish well it started to cry please don't eat me don't eat me i say just throw me back in the water let me swim away i'm really a prince so which made me like this throw me back i won't taste good in a dish the fisherman jumped up and started to scream he thought the talking fish was just a bad dream he said i would never put a prince in a stew i throw you back in the water if it's what I have to do. He put the fish in the water and it started to sink. He left a long trail of blood and swam away in a wink. The fisherman ran as fast as he could to his little brown hut made of stones and wood. He told his wife the story and she gave him a look. Then he showed her the blood on his fisherman's hook. She said, go back to the water and ask for a wish from this enchanted talking flounder fish. He said, what could we wish for? She said, what are you nuts? For years we've lived in this one room hut eating fish every morning noon and night a nice house with a garden will set things right so the funky fisherman walked to the ocean before his wife could start a commotion he said oh flounder prince oh prince of fish my wife's gonna kill me if i don't get a wish the fish came up and the water turned blue the fish said what do you want me to do the man gave his wish and the fish said go back you'll see that you no longer live in a shack the man ran home and what did he see a house big enough for families three there were cows in the garden and chickens in the field fruits and vegetables for every meal for about three weeks everything was fine they ate cookies and cake and had a good time no one ate fish not even the cat they fed the kitty steak and chicken fat but then one day his wife said dear i don't think that i'm happy here i want a castle with a big stone tower go tell your fish he has the power the fisherman said he didn't want to go but his wife didn't understand the meaning of no with his heart feeling heavy and fear on his mind he went to the seashore one more time he got to the water and the water was brown there was wind and storm clouds all around he said oh flounder prince oh prince of fish my wife's gonna kill me if i don't get a wish if she can't have a castle my life's gonna end please give her a castle made of stone my friend the fish said done and the man ran home and what did he see a castle of stone a castle with servants horses and a moat a moat big enough to hold a ship that could float. The man held his breath and went inside. And there was his wife beaming with pride. She was dressed in a gown made of satin and silk. And at her feet, the cat was bathing in milk. But then one morning, his wife awoke. And what she said made the fisherman choke. She said, fly back to the fish like a bird on a wing. And tell your buddy you want to be king. I don't want to be king, he said. Understand? She said, do it. Because it's part of my plan. I won't be king, he said. Kings are mean. If you won't be king, she said, then I'll be queen. Pretty soon, the man ran down to the edge of the ocean, his face in a frown. He said, oh, flounder, prince of fish, my wife's gonna kill me if I don't get a wish. The water turned black and a storm was high. Then the fish came up and looked the man in the eye. The fish said, what does your wife demand? The fisherman said, to be queen of the land. The fish said, done, and went back down. The fisherman sighed and turned around, walked back to the castle and almost died. It had turned to gold and it was twice as high. People were bowing to the brand new queen. The fisherman thought he was in a dream. His wife, the queen, looked very sinister and so did the cat who was now the prime minister. She had army 
ladies and servants and go galore. The cat wore so much gold he couldn't move from the floor. The queen moved her finger and they carried him there. And he sat by her side in a little wooden chair. This went on for about a week. The man had to kneel just to speak to the queen, his wife, in her chair of gold. The cat was now so heavy he had to be rolled. Then one morning, the queen woke up, took a drink of water from her golden cup, and said to the cat, get my husband in here. Her husband said, what is it, dear? Dear, I'm the queen, she said, your highness to you. I've decided this kingdom just won't do. Go down to the fish, go now and run, and tell him I want power over the sun. Control of the sun, the stars, the moon. Now run to the fish and do it soon. Tell him I'll have it or you will die. Tell the fish I want the power or I'll make him fry. The fisherman walked out with an aching head. His heart was sad and his feet were like lead. He went to the rock and said, oh, fish, my wife's gonna kill us if she doesn't get her wish. The sky turned black and the water went wild and the storm could be seen for a hundred miles. Thunder rang and lightning streaked and from the black foamy water he heard the fish speak. What now, it said. What more can she get? She's queen and she's not happy yet. I gave her a castle made of gold. I tell you, fisherman, your wife's too bold. The fisherman said she wants the power over moon, sun, and stars at every hour. The sun, the wind, the earth's motion. She also wants power over the ocean. The water went crazy. The sky turned red. And in a very deep voice, the fish prince said, Your wife's very greedy and you are weak. Go back to her now unless it's death you see. The man turned around and ran away. The storm almost took his life that day. The lightning was striking all around. He got home and fainted, fell down on the ground. The castle was gone and its place was a shack. The wife and the cat were hiding out and back. Gone with the gold and the diamond rings, the thrones and all the expensive things given and taken by a power divine what was left was a pole and some fishing line, so they went back to eating fish every day, and the fisherman's wife had nothing to say, they had fish for breakfast, fish for lunch with the cat in the corner going crunch, crunch, crunch crunch